Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Caesar Ramirez here, and I want to talk to you guys about how to possibly. At first, I wasn't even sure if you can do this, but I just got my iPad 64 gigabyte 3G. Wanted to take the SIM card out of the iPhone since it is a micro SIM card and put that SIM card inside of my iPad. And of course, I'll be out of a phone for temporary service, but. If I'm ever in a situation where I want to surf the internet on my iPad, I wanted to make sure that was available. One of the problems was that I found that there wasn't an APN settings, and they're actually locked. You're supposed to go to sell your data, and there's supposed to be APN settings in here, but those weren't available. So what I went ahead and did was I found out that you can hook up your iPad to your computer, install a program called iPhone configuration and if you just google that you can find it um, also available by going to uh, here the easiest way is just go to google and just type in iPhone configuration utility And then you can see right there there's one available for Mac and PC. So if I click on the one for PC, you'll see right there iPhone configuration utility 3.2 for Windows. If you install that, you, what you want to do is go ahead and go into the iPhone configuration and then choose where it says configure profiles. And then I just made my own profile by clicking on general, I'll give it a name give an identifier, just kind of follow the example there and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says advanced right there choose your access point you gotta fill it in right there if you're in the AT&T area I use wap.singular as the APN point, uh, access point name and then the proxy server I use wireless.singular dot com port 80 and once you're done with that you click on iPad and then you're gonna have an option right there to install right there right now mine says remove but my which one do is click on install your iPad's gonna pop up and you have to confirm it and once you confirm it if you go under general should be under network I'm trying to remember where it put it down at the bottom where it says profile you'll see it right there show up just click on that and you'll see that the profile is actually in there sorry because it's kind of blurry but you can see that you can actually remove that profile and then it has all the information there for contains APN and more details you can see that it has all the info there so that profile is actually installed as you can see I'm on a 3G Right at the top there, I got a pretty good signal. Let's go to the internet. And let's just uh, search for AT&T APN settings since it's already there. And as you can see, the internet is absolutely working. So um, you just need that. Uh, that profile program iPhone configuration utility hook it up to a computer and set your APN if you're not in the AT&T area uh, you can google APN settings for iPhone or iPad and you should be able to find different uh, carrier settings so hopefully that helps out a lot of folks that are wondering if they can use an iPhone 4 SIM card 
um, or even an iPhone 3 uh, X-Acto Knife Cut SIM card, which I haven't tried, but some folks are successful with that, installing that onto uh, an iPad. And uh, that's with the 3G. So enjoy. This is Cesar Ramirez. Hope you guys are having a great day. Talk to you soon.